Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boy, we back. Why am I still wearing my headphones? I don't know. I'm not gaming anymore. This is strictly money in the bank predictions. Ty Boss Dude Wrestling. What's up, wrestling fans? It's your boy, Ty Boss Dude, and we are back. We got ourselves some money in the bank predictions. Yes. Um. So basically, we're, I'm gonna go around the card, say my predictions, who I think's gonna win, and then I think this is this is supposed to be the second episode. This might be the first episode. I don't know. Actually, it's gonna be the second. But um, I do have an, I have a gaming video coming out t tomorrow, which that's the first episode. This, that was supposed to be the first episode, but I forgot to post. I forgot to edit it today. So yeah, it's Friday. Sets 35 before SmackDown, so I don't even know what's happening on SmackDown yet. All I know is, yeah, let's just go through the card. All right, here we go. So the first, let's start with the West. All right, so we have the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships being defended. The Usos versus the Street Profits. Now, I want the Street Profits to win, but I feel the Usos are going to retain. Um, they possibly could. The Usos have been on fire. They have gone 300 and something days. I don't even know. But the Usos and Roman Reigns are still absolutely dominant. It's hard to see that ending in what feels like a feud of the month against the Profits. The Usos' success is close so closely tied to what Roman is doing and a loss for them damages his positioning as the dominant personality in WWE. Because here's what I think. If the Usos lose tonight, okay, that means Roman's gonna lose either to Brock at SummerSlam or not tonight, sorry, at Money in the Bank. Well, technically tonight, but when you guys are watching this, um, I feel if Usos lose tonight, face, I'm just gonna say tonight. If Usos lose tonight, Saturday night, Money in the Bank, I feel Roman's either gonna lose to Brock in SummerSlam, which I hope doesn't happen, or the Money in the Bank contract is gonna get cashed in on Roman, and he's gonna lose then. That's what I think. So, I'm gonna go Street Profits. Just, you know, why not? So, that'll be my first edition. I'm gonna write it down real quick. Because I don't know. Usos versus Street. I'll just say S SP. W equals. Now let's do. SP. You know Roman's probably gonna get involved somehow, so we'll just go with that. All right, next, let's talk about <coughs> Austin Theory versus Bobby Lashley. Now we all know they're actually saying Bobby Lashley is gonna win the title over Theory. I wouldn't be too mad about that, honestly. Um, you know. I wouldn't be mad if Bobby Lashley wins, but I think Austin Theory is going to win just because I think Cena is going to go after Austin Theory. Um, they had kind of teased it like last, like last Monday um, when Austin Theory was just calling him out and everything. So, you know, I think... I think Theory's gonna win because I think John Cena's gonna go after his title. So, but honestly, I wouldn't be mad if Bobby Lashley wins. Then Austin Theory and John Cena could just battle for like passing the torch kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I think um, I'm gonna go with. I don't know. This is a tough one because I was I was gonna say Austin Theory the whole way until I saw the CBS 
picked is gonna is picking Bobby Lashley to win it. But now that would make much more sense if Bobby Lashley wins the title. But I don't know, man. It's a tough choice. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Okay, let's see what they're saying. This is actually something of tough. This is actually something of a tough call. Theory seems set to go into a SummerSlam program with John Cena. That's what I said. But that's a program that doesn't need to win the title involved at all. On the other hand, Lashley has been elevated past secondary title status, and winning the U.S. title would feel like a step in the wrong direction. Given that, I think Cena should Cena should win in the if the pair face off at SummerSlam. I think you have to move the title off Theory. Of course, that would mean Theory taking two losses in a row on big shows. It doesn't feel right either. It's a tough choice. Didn't Theory win at home so? I'm pretty sure Theory won it at the last pay review. I'm, I, I think. Theory. Yeah, cause didn't he beat Mustafa Ali? Theory and. I'm not gonna say it. Yeah, he retained his United States Championship. He didn't take two L's, he, he literally took a W. So, oh, I get what they're meaning. Basically, he's gonna lose that money in the bank and then he's gonna lose at SummerSlam. Okay, I get, I got that. Sorry, I did all that research just for nothing. My bad. But, you know what, frick it, I'm going, okay, but WWE is really, Might be a long video, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just, I don't know, bro. Um, this one is like really tough because you could really go either way. Because you know, you got Theory and John Cena in the back of your hand. Do you want to put the title? Do you want it to be involved with the title or without the title? You guys comment down below what you would do, who you're picking. And don't do this. Comment before Money in the Bank. Don't comment after, because otherwise that would be cheating. You already know what happens. I'm gonna post this at 10 a.m. Hopefully it does come out at 10 a.m. Hopefully I'm not just lazy and don't post at 10 a.m. You know what, screw it. I'm literally gonna edit this right after I do it. After I do it. I'm going. I was gonna go theory. The CBS literally changed my mind, so I'm going by Lashley. Give me, Bobby Lashley to win against Austin Theory. So, technically his name's Theory, but Theory versus Lashley. W. Lashley. 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 If you're an OG fan, if you know that. Not an OG fan of my channel, because obviously it's the first episode. But, well, we'll say technically, because the first one I haven't edited yet, so. Alright, next match, we got the SmackDown Women's Championship. Alright, Ronda Rousey versus Natalia. We all know Ronda Rousey's going to win. But, this isn't going to be a good match. I'm, actually, it could, because Natalia's in it. Natalia does... She does end up having really good matches, so I would not be surprised if this is a nice match. But I feel like it's Ronda Rousey's just gonna whip her. Yeah. I don't cut at all, so. I know I I said H in a cell on accident. I didn't mean to. But yeah. So we got uh Ronda Rousey winning against Natalia. How do you spell Natalia? I'm sorry, I can't spell. Got it. W. Rousey. 
All right, next we got the Raw Women's Championship. You already know who I'm going with here. We're going with Bianca Belair. Um, just because, yeah, it's Bianca. Bianca is a beast. She is the E S T of W W E. So she's the roughest. She's the tough. I don't know her whole story. Saying, so I'm just not gonna say it. But yeah, Bianca versus Carmella. No really. We got Bianca. There's no really. Uh, I don't need to explain really. Um, because really. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, what if Sasha Banks comes back and she's like, you know, I've been... I wouldn't see that happen, actually. Never mind. She got released. So, never mind. Um, next, we got the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. CBS Sports is saying Liv Morgan's going to win. Huh, let's see. We got Lacey Evans, Alexa Bliss, Liv Morgan, Raquel Gonzalez, Asuka, Shotzi Blackheart, and Becky Lynch. Now, everyone's probably going to say either Becky Lynch or Asuka. But... I think they have a little few going, so I'm not gonna go with them. I'm actually gonna go. Yeah, I was into a little list, but I don't know because it could go. Literally anybody could win this. Like, there's no favorite. I know Raquel Gonzalez is like the powerhouse and everything, but I feel. Uh, I don't know, man. This is tough. Screw it. I'm going... I'm going to let's blitz. You know, she's on Raw. She is... I think she's on... Isn't she on Raw? Or is she on SmackDown? Nah, she's on Raw. Okay. So I'm going to go Alexa Bliss. Just because, why not? I want to play somebody different other than... Um... And then men's. Just because I want to pick somebody different than CBS Sports. So, yeah. Alright. Now we got the men's money in the bank contract ladder match. We got Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, Omos, Sami Zayn, Riddle, and then TBD. To be determined. If this is another Brock Lesnar... Um, you know what I actually think? If Cody Rhodes comes back and, like, costs Seth Rollins the money in the bank contract, I mean, I don't think he is, because I really think Seth Rollins is going to win. Like, let's see who CBS Sports says is going to win. They say Riddle is going to win. I, th I think Seth Rollins is going to win, just because I think he's going to... Anyways, I think Seth Rollins is going to win just because, you know, I here's my whole story, okay? Here's what I think is going to happen. You guys can come back to this, like, a month later because that's when I think SummerSlam is, I think, in August. So, here's my story, all right? Seth Rollins wins the money in the bank, okay? Then, at SummerSlam, Brock Lesnar... Roman Reigns carry each other apart in the last man standing match, okay? Then, The Rock comes out, almost costing Roman Reigns, or no, The Rock comes out. This isn't gonna happen, I don't think, because Roman, is, uh, The Rock is probably too busy for this, so. But yeah, anyways, The Rock comes out, gives a little handshake to Roman, and then 
He grabs the Roman grabs the hand and is like, you know what? Come here. Grabs him, rock bottoms him. And guess who comes out? Seth Rollins cashes in Money in the Bank. And now it's a match. One on one match. Roman versus Seth. Seth Rollins tries to go for the pin. One, two. No, Roman kicks out at the last minute. Then Seth Rollins gets him up, sets him up for a pedigree. Bam, pedigree. And then he's like, Seth Rollins is like, you know what? I'm not done yet. Gonna go for the stomp. Stomps him. One, two, three. Seth Rollins is new. Universe WWE WWE Undisputed Universal Champion. And now at the Royal Rumble, Cody Rhodes comes back, wins the Rumble, challenges Seth Rollins for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. And we got Seth Rollins versus Cody Rhodes. Then we got The Rock versus Roman at WrestleMania. We got Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins at WrestleMania for the title. That would be a good that would be a good storyline for WWE if they did those two. Those two things. So um yeah, so I got Seth Rollins winning obviously. That's just what I think is gonna happen. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your predictions. Um so here are my predictions so far. We got men's money in the bank, Seth Rollins, women's money in the bank, lots of bliss. We got Usos versus Street Profits. Street Prop I got Street Profits winning. Theory versus Lashley. We got Lashley winning. Rousey versus Natalia. Rousey wins. And then Belair versus Carmella. Bianca wins. The most challenging one to come up with definitely has to be the Theory versus Lashley. Like that took me like ten like ten minutes just to think about. Um I mean, women's, it could go either Alexa Bliss or Liv Morgan. If Oscar or Becky Lynch wins, I'm sorry. I just thought they were in a rivalry, so I thought they were going to, like, cost each other the championship. I don't know. But, I mean, Oscar's got to be pretty mad, you know what I'm saying? Because Oscar beat Becky Lynch to go to Money in the Bank, and then Becky Lynch got, like, her last chance opportunity and wins. So, I mean, yeah, that's pretty tough. Uh, those are my predictions. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. This was the Money in the Bank predictions video. I'm trying to do that like, the Mustache Bros Wrestling channel. So, if you guys could, it would be so cool to collab with them to do a quiz. You know, I've been, bro, I have been beating them every single time. These guys are trash at quizzes. That's all I got. That's, yeah. Like, they did a Money in the Bank quiz. I. Bro, I didn't miss one single question, including the last one. I bet all of my points every all the time. In the in the wager round, I bet all my points because I'm not a not to say it. So yeah, if Must if me and Mustache Bros collab, that would be the best thing ever for me for this channel. And yeah. That's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe. Because I know you all are new. This is my first actual official video. Um, this is not the first episode of the channel. You know what? Screw it. It is. I don't care. You'll just have to see in the comments what I said. So, yeah. That's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe. Like. Oh, also, I'm going to be doing a podcast every single week about WWE. I'll probably do it tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. But, yeah, I got I got a cool little... I'm not going to spoil what the video is, but it's a 2K video. WWE 2K22. So, yeah. Anyways, see you guys later. All my channels are in the link in the description. Go check them out. And subscribe to all of them. And deuces.